on a rowboat in a park. We're about to get cookies from nuns. We have another Mario spotting. The Rich Travel is frustrating. It just kind of sets you off. It's a crazy combination. It's interesting here. Well, it's a travel day, so I guess prepare for anything. No, we are changing our mindsets. The travel days are great days. You don't have a ticket and you get in my bus. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. We almost got on a completely wrong bus. It's broken. This has been the hardest travel day yet and we haven't even started. Yeah, anyways, our flight takes off at 11 a.m. So we'll take you to the airport. So we have made it and yeah, things are just different over here. Just like in Scotland where we arrived and they're like, oh yeah, we'll have a gate uh, closer to the flight. We're here and we can't even really check in yet because a different airline is using the check-in space. So she said, you know, try back in like 15 minutes after they check other people in for this flight. So yeah. I have another sausage roll, but I will not be eating this one in slow motion, don't worry. This is taking so long. Time to go through the mall that's in literally every European airport. Do you need Dior? I'm out of Chanel perfume. But I'm really glad all the employees were here instead of at Air Europa because I'd rather have more people selling perfume than checking people into their actual flights. <laughs> Kind of feels like we are back in London. We are trying to find the underground or the metro here in Spain. Then it's gonna be like an hour ride to the hostel with a few different stops. So, and in a different language. So quick little change of plans. Originally we were supposed to take the metro uh, and then take an above ground train and then the metro again. First of all, the metro is here much, much better than the tube in London, much more modern. Although this one was so packed, it was crazy. Anyway, it's kind of difficult to navigate things and we don't want to try to figure out where to get the train and then where to get another um, metro you know, train. So we're just going to Uber because we just kind of want to get to the hostel, get relaxed, get settled, so. Hungry? Very, very, very hungry. Um, but I'm happy we're here. I mean, this is Madrid. Like, we're in Spain. Coming off of, you know, a day of travel, like, we just need a little bit of 
recharge time, decompression time. And we need to do laundry, so you can see Brian in a different shirt. Yeah, that too, that's but so important. I think we're gonna do what we did in Lisbon. We're going to check out the kitchen here first to make sure it's accessible and good. Then we're gonna go get some grub and then get a few things um, from the grocery store. Okay, vamos. Only like 30 minutes in Madrid and we've already seen Mario, we've seen Bumblebee. It's interesting here. I am so exhausted and it is only, I don't even know what time it is. There's still laundry to do and unpacking, making food for later. So the next day was a completely different pace. We felt more energized and ready to explore. And the first thing that caught our eye was this beautiful church. And after that, we made our way over to El Retiro Park, where we had a very serene walk and stumbled upon something we weren't expecting to find. So I think there's only one logical thing for us to do right now. Go up? Yes. We're gonna get on a boat. Look who's driving now. It's definitely not easy, like, at all, but it's very fun. Female drivers, am I right? <laughs> I think 
was very well spent. Yes. So now we're about to do something a bit, what, secret? Yes, so I uh, have wanted to do this because I've seen it online, like I always do lots of things, whatever. Um, and... Probably on TikTok. Yeah, I was on TikTok, but just reminded of it while doing some research about Madrid. The only thing is it may or may not happen today. We will take you, if it happens, we'll kind of explain later, but there's a chance it may not happen. It'll make sense soon. another Mario spotting. I'm trying to get a good shot of Mugetta Ketchup. He's always like really depressed, just kind of hanging his head. And... We're about to get cookies from none. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's a thing here in Madrid. So currently we are right outside of Monasterio del Corpus Christi. So the Monastery of Corpus Christi. And uh, what they do is these nuns have a business selling really good like shortbreads and cookies and all of these other sweets. So what we're going to do is try some cookies made by nuns. I'm really excited. Nun cookies. Wait, we should open them up and see. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot. And it was 12 euros for half. Yeah. So, do you want to try some? Do a little test right now. Just share one. Okay, let's do it. I see disappointment in your eyes. <laughs> You're going to get smited if you don't like that cookie. Try it. It's weird. I don't exactly know how to describe it. It's very... Plain. Yeah, there isn't really much to it. I don't know. So our next spot is for some dessert. It is at a famous churro spot. Churros are big here in Spain. And this is the place that a lot of people go to because it's like the oldest churro shop. It's a crazy combination. It's so good. You saw that, right? That was a depressed Pink Panther. Probably friends with depressed Mario. <laughs> and Gorilla. God, I don't know. Oh! 
the churros were phenomenal. Brian liked them and he's not uh, a big sweets guy or churros guy, I guess. Yeah, they were, they were great. Yeah. Just enough flavor like added by the chocolate. Yeah. And after, after our miserable all-you-can-eat buffet experience. Which we haven't mentioned. I mean, what were we expecting? It was 12 euros for all-you-can-eat buffet. It sucked. I wish we would have gone to McDonald's or oh, got, anything we got else. Big... This time a panda bear. It had been a really fun and kind of strange day in Madrid but it was time to return to the hostel to recharge and prepare ourselves for whatever tomorrow was going to bring. Wow, God, she's sexy. No. Well, that was an experience. I definitely felt like a kid in there. 